न्यूसेंस होल बैक होटल लिमिटेड वर्सेस स्कारबॉग ब्लॉक काउंसिल इज ए लीडिंग केस ऑन न्यूसेंस विच स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट अ प्राइवेट न्यूसेंस इज अ सिविल रॉन्ग एज वेल एज अ क्राइम न्यूसेंस एज ए टॉट वॉज डिफाइन एज अनलॉफुल इंटरफेरेंस विथ द पर्सन यूज और एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ लैंड और शम राइट ओवर और इन कनेक्शन विथ इट बाई विनफील्ड द वर्ड न्यूसेंस इज डिराइव फ्रॉम फ्रेंच वर्ड न्यूडी अनरीजनेबल इंटरफेरेंस इन द यूज ऑफ एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ लैंड रिजल्टिंग इन सम डैमेज कंस्टिट्यूटेड प्राइवेट न्यूसेंस न्यूसेंस एज ए टॉट वॉज डिफाइन एज वेल एज अनलॉफुल इंटरफेरेंस विथ अ पर्सन यूज और एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ लैंड और शम राइट ओवर इट और इन कनेक्शन विथ इट बाई विनफील्ड कंसेंट हॉल वर्सेस ब्रुकलैंड ऑटो रेसिंग क्लब इनहेबिटेबल एक्शन होम्स वर्सेस मैथर एक्ट ऑफ गॉड निकोलस वर्सेस मार्शल स्टैचुटरी ऑथोरिटी वॉलगम वर्सेस टॉफ वेडली रेलवे कंपनी प्रिंसिपल अंडर लॉ पर्सन इन पोजिशन ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी आर एंटाइटल टू क्वाइट एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ देयर प्रॉपर्टी राम एंड हिज वाइफ ऑक्यूपाइड ए फ्लैट इन न्यू दिल्ली टू रिसाइड पीसफुली ड्यूरिंग हिज रिटायर्ड लाइफ हिज नेबर हु वॉज सेटिस्फाई ऑन रेंट वॉज अ यंग कपल हैविंग टू मंथ ओल्ड बेबी द क्राइस ऑफ द बेबी डिस्टर्ब राम ड्यूरिंग हिज लाइफ ड्यूरिंग हिज आफ्टरनून नैप एंड एट नाइट irritated by the baby cries ram asked the young couple to shift their residence to which they turned turned a deaf ear ram want to file a suit against the young couple for nuisance ram will not succeed as the sound of crying baby is an expect part of quiet enjoyment of property and does not constitute a nuisance a special damage has got to be proved in action in an action for nuisance which one of the following cannot pretend to the tort of nuisance d taking cattle on the field of neighbor which one constitute nuisance playing music through loud speaker in night creation of foul smell on one's land which reaches neighbor residents construction of floor mills on plowed means on the ground floor while the floor of first floor was occupied by tenant in which one the following case it is not a nuisance d washing cloth in front of a person house at the public tap which would constitute nuisance are playing music through loud speaker at night construction of flour mill on the ground floor while the upper floor were floor are residential purpose creation of foul smell on one's land which reaches the neighbor an 
अनलॉफुल इंटरफेरेंस विद पर्सन यूज ऑफ इंजॉयमेंट ऑफ लैंड और सम राइट ओवर इन कनेक्शन विथ इट इट इज नोन एज टॉट ऑफ न्यूशेंस विच वन द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट पब्लिक न्यूशेंस इज एन ऑफेंस प्राइवेट न्यूशेंस इज अ सिविल रॉन्ग If a person want to bring an action under law of tort for tort of public nuisance he must have to prove that the injury was direct and substantial only to him for an action of nuisance the following have been put up as a defense it has done under statutory authority he purchased a ticket to watch a movie and was seated in the hall but after some time he started shouting and behave in unruly manner causing annoyance to the audience when he did not pay heed to request to come down he was evicted he bring a suit for damage against the management will he succeeded in so far on not succeeded nuisance is an interference with the person right relating to use and enjoyment of land which one the following is not true in relation to nuisance it can be committed through the medium of intangible object which one of the following is correct statement public nuisance is an offense whereas private nuisance is a civil wrong throwing flit into the never compound amount to the tort of private nuisance jed dig murder road in front of his house in evening after it became dark a pass buyer hit the debris and is injured the pass buyer bring a suit civil suit as well as file a criminal case of public nuisance he can bring both the action a railway company was authorized by law to run a railway train on track the spark from the engine set fire the, to the adjoining property belonging to the plaintiff which one of the following defense will nor will be most appropriate for the defense to raise in the action for nuisance by the plaintiff remoteness of damage which one of the following defense did not did the defendant in the case of dunlug versus stevenson not plead c is not plead which one is plead the manufacturer did not own any duty to care toward the customer of the ginger beer which was gifted to her by her friend the plaintiff was a stranger to the contract and therefore her action was not maintainable the privity of contract policy to be applicable and there would be no liability for the manufacturer which one of the following statement illustrated in the principle of contributory negligence the plaintiff by his own want care contribute the damages caused in the negligence and wrongful conduct of the defendant burden of proof once nuisance is 
proved is on defendant remedy for private nuisance abatement right of action of nuisance for temporary nature occupier right to commit a private nuisance may be acquired Pres prescription the two rule general damages and special damages were propounded for the first time in the case of Harley versus Vexendale which one of the following is essential to prove the tort of nuisance all of these unreasonable interference interference with the use and enjoyment of land and damage which one of the following is just a standard to make out the case of nuisance causing personal discomfort substantial standard of discomfort nuisance means both a and c unlawful and unreasonable interference with a person use or enjoyment of land or of some right over in connection with it in connection with the person use or enjoyment of his property a person who move to place nearer the place of nuisance can complain the nuisance coming to the place of nuisance is a good defense statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false consider the following statement to bring the action for damages in respect of public nuisance by private individual the injury must be direct not merely consequential private nuisance may be with respect to the property or personal physical comfort both are right which one of the following element is not necessary to have a private right of action in respect of public nuisance nuisance must be caused by negligence which one of the following remedy is available in the action in tort of nuisance abatement injunction action for damages private nuisance is an injury to right of person in respect of which one of the following enjoyment of property which one of the following is important factor an important factor to constitute a tort of nuisance malice on the part of the defendant in tort of nuisance interference of defendant may cause damage to the plaintiff property or personal discomfort in the enjoyment of property every interference in use of property is a nuisance a is true and r is false during the scarcity of potato long queue were made outside the defendant shop who having the license to sell fruit and vegetable used to sell 1 kg of potato per ration card the queue extended on highway and also caused some obstruction neighboring shop the neighboring shopkeeper bought an actions for nuisance against the defendant the defendant is not liable for the nuisance which one of the following is not an remedy of private nuisance action for a specific performance he is playing his music system at a low pitch his neighbor b who
कैन नॉट बियर द न्यूशंस दिस म्यूजिक ही इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम हार्ट अलाइनमेंट गेट ए हार्ट अटैक इन रिजल्ट बी इज यू फॉर ए न्यूशंस ए इज not liable as no one can curtail freedom of another on the ground of his own special circumstances rule for for sinability test for damage in law of tort was laid down in wagon mount number 1 case the principle of respondent superior under the law of tort is related with tort of vicarious liability rule of proximate in associated with which one of the following tort negligence which one of the following is a valid defense for tort of nuisance defendant is engaged in the activity for 20 years public and private nuisance are not reality of two species of same genus at all obstruction on highway is a public nuisance but individual can sue on the proof of special damage to him this one is right this one is wrong hollywood silver fox farm versus emit is a case which is related to the tort of nuisance which major is a defense for the tort of strict liability which one of the following is a statement not correct c is not correct which one is correct or public nuisance is a crime whereas private nuisance is a civil wrong an action for damages lies in respect of private nuisance but not in respect of public nuisance generally an application for damages lie in respect of public nuisance if the plaintiff has sustained sustained a special damage Which one of the following is an exception to the rule of strict liability recognized by Royal versus Fitcher? Act of God, statutory authority. Which one of the following is correctly identified? The remedy available to the victim in case of private nuisance. action for damages special restitution of property and abatement injunction is specifically restitution of property abatement which one of the following is a good defense for the tort of private nuisance the plaintiff is very sensitive in public nuisance a private action lies when the injury is particular and directly direct and substantially in nuisance defendant is liable for unusual sensitive plaintiff in none of the above 